Hey guys, how are you doing? Today we're going to see how do we solve binary tree cameras problem. So given a binary tree, uh, we install cameras on the nodes of the tree. So like this, and each camera at the node will monitor its parent and its immediate children, like its children, left and right child and its parent. So these three nodes can be covered if we install a camera in this node. All right. So for the whole binary tree, we need to find the minimum number of cameras needed to monitor all the nodes so, so that all the nodes can be covered, right? So uh, this problem is marked as hard. Uh, it's, in my opinion, it's not so hard. So let's see how do we solve this problem. So I'll remove this. So we're going to solve this problem using depth first search method. So we're going to design a recursive function which accepts a node and before uh, you know we start to design this function we should have few states okay let's say uh, uh, nothing there is no node at all if we have a null reference of a node then we return nothing and we have one state called leaf if it is a leaf node just return leaf if it has been already covered, one node has been already covered by its children. For example, we are going to solve one by one by uh, from the bottom. So means that left child will return some value and right child will return some value. Maybe it can be a leaf node. It can be nothing like that. So based on those results, we'll be designing further and returning again, right? So we can just say um, covered this node has been covered and you can just say please cover me okay and finally we have a uh, has camera okay let's say we can have a camera from one node we can just we can just say install a camera and just return it has a camera okay so these are the states and we are going to uh, have a variable to hold number of cameras installed so far so it's initially zero and let's start to design our recursive function so if there is no node just return nothing and if there is no right child sorry left child and there is no right child then return it's a leaf all right and we are going to make some very important decisions here. So let's say we have the results from left child. We recur node dot left, and let's say right equal to node dot right. Right. So the left child and the right child has some state after this call. Right. Whether it can hit a leaf node and return, or it can hit a nothing in return. So some state it will have. Right. So left and right. So we need to decide if left is a leaf right left is a leaf or right is a leaf in this case means these two leaf nodes we must have a camera because in order to cover those two right so in order to cover those two we must have a camera here so we can decide that okay we have a camera here and increment the number of cameras variable and also we need to see for a condition Someone is requesting, please cover me. Left equal to please cover me. Or so let's say I have the operator there. So right equal to please cover me. So in this case, we're going to say number of cameras plus plus and return has camera. Right? So we are just deciding if left child or right child is a leaf or left child is asking for a coverage, please cover me, or right is asking for coverage, please cover me. So in that case, we, get, we have to install a camera and like incrementing the number of cameras available. And then we just return has camera. So that's the state of this node, right? All right, so, and one more condition here, if left, is having a camera already or right 
is having a camera then return covered this guy I mean the current node has been already covered by either of its children right if the none of the above condition satisfied then we can just say return please cover me I cannot install a camera here please cover me all right so here we must have a root state as well all right so it will find just solve for root so we will be getting the root state we'll just check root state is having or if it is requesting again please cover me or root state can be a leaf node right it, it can be only node in the binary tree so in that case number of cameras just increment it all right and with a number of cameras right i hope you got some idea so i would highly recommend you to debug this program and check okay what is the intermediate state for example if you are in at this node what has been returned and if you are at this node uh, what is the value of left and right child so put a breakpoint here and just check right so let's test this all right let's try to submit this right i hope it's clear and you have enjoyed this video and thanks for watching